Hey everyone, Matthias here with Howard Core. Today we're going to explain the necessary tools needed for basic setups. Behind me here is my workbench in which I'll show you some of the tools necessary to get started. Now if you are a seasoned luthier or already a professional, then this video will probably be redundant. However, if you are new to violin setups and you want to know more, I suggest watching this video to the end because this is going to get you started in the right direction. So without further delay, let's go ahead and take a look closer at the basic tools needed for an instrument setup. All right, so what we have here are the necessary tools needed to accomplish a basic setup. One thing to note is these are standard tools used in the industry and there are personal preferences of using one brand or another. Here at Howard Core, we carry a variety of brands and variations of these tools for options. But for today, we will show you the most used in our workshop and provide you the item numbers making it easy to purchase them on our website. Now, we won't demonstrate a full setup in this video as that will take too much time, but we will cover individual steps of a setup in different videos, so be sure to check those out. Here in our first display, you will see six tools for different purposes. The first item is the digital caliper, the perfect tool measuring the thickness of a bridge, pegs, and other parts of the instrument, giving you precise results. The straight edge is a great way to find out the string height on a fingerboard. It will dictate if there is too much or not enough spacing relief. A flexible ruler comes in handy for so many applications. Whether checking the string height on a fingerboard, the string spacing at the nut, or even the after length near the tailpiece, there's no reason to not have more than one of these. The last three are a few sound post application tools. The sound post setter is a must have when applying a sound post inside or adjusting its position. The two sides act like a setter and positioning hook. These are available in three sizes, violin viola, cello, and bass. The mirror is a great way to check your sound post at top and bottom angles, making sure you didn't leave any gaps or poorly cut spaces. These are available in two sizes, violin viola and cello and bass. A sound post gauge allows you to understand how long a new sound post should be before cutting and adjusting it inside. These are available in two sizes, violin viola and cello. The next display of tools shown here begin with the nut bridge slot files. I particularly like using the Hosco brand which are shown here. However, various options for bridge and nut files can be found on our website. These tools are great for precise slot cutting whether on a nut or on a bridge. Another useful sound post tool shown here is a retriever. While this tool isn't always necessary, it does make your job quicker and more time efficient when retrieving a stubborn sound post. These are available in two sizes, violin viola and cello. The peg shaper is an essential tool to have in your collection of repairs and setup. This tool will shape your pegs like a similar method to a pencil sharpener by making the shaft in a more appropriate thickness. While this model by Herdom is used majority of the time, there are other options for this tool that can be found on our website. A reamer is a tool that goes hand in hand with the peg shaper as it prepares your newly shaven pegs to fit snugly in the peg box holes. Reaming slowly a new or existing hole allows a precise taper which will match the exact slope of your newly prepared pegs. Like the shaper, the reamer also comes available in various options which can be found on our website. Peg dope is the perfect method that has been used for years by luthiers to eliminate immobile or squeaking pegs. By applying this product to new or used pegs, you will quickly feel a difference in the turning motion. The divider is one of the oldest tools in this list. It was used over 300 years ago and still used today to precisely divide key points with exact space intervals. These can be found in different sizes depending on your application and needs. The next series of tools including the following flat and needle files of different coarseness. The few shown here are an example used for different applications such as peg end shaping, bridge cleanup, slot grooves and nut shaping. Because these are more of a subjective usability, there are several options available that can be found on our website. Chisels are also another old world tool still used today. Usage of the chisel have various purposes such as building, repairs, setup, and other practical applications. Depending on the size of the chisel, you can accomplish many tasks. A luthier can never have enough of these. And just like the file, there are various options for chisels which can be found on our website. The last list is surely not the least of tools, for a basic setup includes a violin pan which helps sit your instrument flat and secure while doing repairs or setup. And of course, the knife. 
I prefer a Kogatana Deluxe 15mm for larger applications such as shaping a bridge and a German Amel 6mm for little tasks that need surgical precision. Of course, like the chisel, one could never have enough knives, and for that reason, various options for these can be found on our website. Bridge and fingerboard pattern templates are also a useful tool when reshaping a fingerboard or cutting a new bridge. These templates take away guesswork and give you a professional finish. Like shown here on our website, we offer various patterns with different sizes and materials. And to finalize our necessary tools on the list, we recommend using a block plane which gives you numerous purposes of application. My personal block planes of choice are the Lie Nielsen 103 and an old Stanley number 60 and a half. Although we don't carry these particular brands, we still stock a variety of models for different applications, which can be found on our website. Well, if you're interested in any of these tools listed today, I'll leave details in the description below. And as always, if you have any inquiries whatsoever pertaining to tool availability or even common use, feel free to reach out to us at 800-633-2302 or howercore.com. Thanks for watching.